You're now looking at the front end entry screen of Myob Software, as mentioned earlier, a very popular small business accountancy program used in Australia. The course is about reconciling a bank that doesn't balance, not about how to do a bank rec from the very beginning. So in our example, the bank rec's already being done, it's just that it isn't balanced. In Myob, you get your bank reconciliation report through going to reports, selecting banking, select reconciliation report. Then you need to put in the date of the period that you're reconciling to. In our case, it is the 30th of the 9th, 2011, and then you display the report. The report has the usual reconcile checks, or reconcile deposits, outstanding checks, outstanding deposits. And then this is the business end of the report. What the accounting software is telling us here is that the balance per the accounts in the bank is $14,451.49. The balance for adjustments for outstanding checks and deposits then produces a figure of $15,476.49. Standard bank reconciliation procedure, all you've got to do is compare the expected balance on the statement with the bank statements that you have. This then constitutes our bank statements for the expert software systems reconciliation to the 30th of September. And you'll notice that the balance is fourteen is $19,085.43. That is not the same as the expected balance in the accounting file. If you then go and do a uh, reconciliation of the two, the amount in the accounting file, 15476.49, the amount per the bank statement, 19085.43, we have a difference in our bank reconciliation of 3608.94. This is the imbalance in our bank, and this is what we need to reconcile. And what will happen now is I'll go through some of the techniques to try and find that difference as efficiently as possible without trying to rework the entire bank account.